Let's talk about the first sign of a vitamin F deficiency. Now, you're probably going, what is vitamin F, right? Well, in past times, there was a vitamin F, um, but now we don't call it vitamin F because it doesn't really fit the traditional definition of a true vitamin, which is kind of an isolated compound coming from nature. Uh, but vitamin F really is the combination of two essential fatty acids. And the definition of essential in this context means that it must come from your diet. Your body can't make it. Okay, the same thing with essential amino acids. Those are amino acids that must be gotten from the diet because your body can't make them versus a non-essential amino acid which your body can make. Okay, so these essential fatty acids are two. One is an omega-3 fatty acid and the other is an omega-6 fatty acid. Uh, the omega-3 is ALA, alpha linolenic acid, and the omega-6, which is LA, linoleic acid. Now, these are two essential uh, fats that you need in every single organ of your body. They help you absorb calcium. They're both very important components in cell structure, in cell flexibility, and in cell growth. Now, the big problem with these essential fatty acids is in the ratio that we consume them. In the Western diet, we consume 10 to 20 times more omega-6 fatty acids than we do omega-3. The ideal ratio would be like 2 to 1 or even 1 to 1, not 20 to 1, okay? When this ratio becomes so far out of balance, you're going to start developing all sorts of problems with your cells. And the first sign or symptom would be dry and flaky skin. So if you have dry and flaky skin, just realize you're doing too many omega-6 fatty acids to your omega-3 fatty acids. So you want to cut those down and start consuming more like cod liver oil or fish oil and not the other oils like corn oil, soy oil, which are hidden in a lot of different foods. And I'm going to put a link down below for more information on that. There's other problems as well, like prostate enlargement, uh, inflammation, problems with your vision, problems with the heart, problems with your brain, like memory problems. So the key is to really get these ratios. If you want to get these ratios, you can start consuming certain foods. I'm going to list them right here. Avocados have a really good ratio of these fats. Uh, any leafy greens have the right ratios. Almonds, walnuts have the right amounts. Uh, sprouts of any seeds have good ratios. Chia seed, sunflower seed, olive oil, make sure it's the real thing. Fish, especially fatty fish, have the best ratios. And eggs. So we really get in trouble when we start doing like uh, fried foods, junk foods, fast food, and start using the salad dressing with all the soy oil. And there's literally thousands of foods at the grocery store with corn oil and canola oil and, and cottonseed oil um, in many different forms that you need to start avoiding. So start to evaluate your foods from the standpoint of these two um, essential fatty acids to make sure you're getting the right ratios. Ideally, they should be one to one. Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about chia seeds. Amazing nutrients. Check this out. It has essential fatty acids very similar to flax seeds. And essential fatty acids are the component that helps build your cell, the membrane of the cell, the little tiny things inside the cell. They're called organelles that, that run the, the cell. Uh, it has more omega-3 than salmon. It has five times as much calcium, five times more calcium than milk. Uh, high fiber, vitamin B2, B1, B2. Three, it's niacin. It has boron, which actually helps calcium make bone solid. Uh, it also has a, a certain uh, type of fat called the polyunsaturated fatty acids, which, which basically ionizes calcium. So it allows calcium to go into the tissues deeper. And we'll talk about what that will do in a second. And then it has high protein. In one little tiny ounce, it has 4.9 grams. That's a lot of protein. So it's a really good source of nutrients. Now you can also make this in a like a pudding, a chi, chia seed pudding. I'll put a rest, recipe below. But I think the biggest benefit of chia is the essential fatty acids. So what I want to do is I want to talk about all the things that are affected when you have enough essential fatty acids and also when you're deficient. Okay, So it affects your energy levels. So um, endurance. If you're actually working out hardcore workout person and you 
consume chia seed, you'll spike the essential fatty acids and you recover faster. Why? Because essential fatty acids allow the transportation of oxygen through the system. They allow the oxygen exchange in your lungs. They push the oxygen into the hemoglobin, into the, into the blood, and basically help you recover faster. Uh, help you stabilize blood sugars. Uh, the essential fatty acids help postmenopausal, so for estrogen issues. And also, if you're deficient in essential fatty acids, your skin's gonna be flaky, peely, rough. You know, you see people with like these flakes of skin coming out of their, like their ear or their nose or their, their head. That's basically an essential fatty acid deficiency. So you can consume these or flax oil to get these to make your skin real smooth. Uh, strong nails. If you're deficient in this fatty acid, you're going to get ridged nails. So we got hair, skin, nails. I've talked about this in other videos with B vitamin deficiencies. But the essential fatty acids work with the B vitamins, work with the trace minerals, all to make hair, skin, and nail real, really nice. Uh, if you're deficient in this fatty acid, you can get Charlie horses. Why? Because we talked about uh, the ionization of calcium. Calcium drives into deep into the tissues, and if you're deficient in that, you can get cramping. Uh, sunburn. Why? Because you need calcium to protect uh, from excess sun. You can literally take chia seeds to enhance your essential fatty acids to minimize sunburns and also if you actually are sunburned to recover from that consuming essential fatty acids from this or flaxseed can actually help you recover faster. Also it will help uh, put herpes which is a virus back in remission and also improves hypothyroid because these essential fatty acids potentiate iodine okay, in the thyroid. So they, they really help from a lot of different angles. All right, so go ahead and check out the recipes down below and I'll talk to you soon. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books it was called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why, um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan. Okay, If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you, within 45 minutes, learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book 
and this updated one right here, if you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.